Uh, what's going on YouTube, man? So today we're gonna be starting off one of the series I wanted to do for a long time. It's gonna be our rebuild series, man, where we go into career mode, pick up random teams, and I think I'm gonna do like probably a bunch of these. Uh, it's probably gonna be we pick a team and we're gonna rebuild from one of the best years that they've had. And this to this video we're gonna be having Milan as our first episode. Milan had, have had crazy crazy talents. They've had Kaka, they've had Dingo, they've had Beckham, they've had R9. Like they've had some crazy talents, bro. Seedorf as well, Maldini of course. Uh, and today we are choosing. 2009 AC Milan. This year they had Beckham, they had Kaka, they had Dingo, they had uh, crazy, crazy players, man. And for this series, we literally have to build that team from, uh, and choose their formation. But the catch is every player in that position, we have to buy their nation. So their left back, the, this year I believe they were French, so we have to buy a French left back. Their striker was Swedish at the time, it was Z uh, Ibra, he's still on the team. We're gonna have to buy uh, a Swedish striker, and for each position we're, co we're gonna continue that. So hopefully, if you guys do enjoy this this concept, um, drop a thumbs up as well. Subscribe if you guys are not already, man. And let's get right into this. All right, boys. So here we are. We built our manager, Mr. Rebuild. Here we go, man. We do have a lot of players in mind as well. I do have some players that I want to get into the team. So this is the squad that we have right now. A lot of these players are gonna have to go, man. We're gonna sell literally everyone who does not fit our team. Uh, this year, they did use uh, a 4-3-1-2 as well. That was probably like, the most popular formation. So that's what we're going to be choosing. So here, there's a lot of players that do not fit, man. They had Shevchenko up top. They also had Ibra. So Giroud and Liao definitely do not fit. So those guys both have to go. Uh, they had, I think they had Kaka and Dingo up top at Cam. It, it depended. So uh, Brahim is going to have to go as well. Messias, Kessie, Tonali. I think Tonali is the only guy we're going to be keeping because they did have... Uh, they had like Gattuso, they had Pirlo at the time as well. So he's going to be staying. Cassie's going to leave. Messias, I know he is Brazilian, but we do want to have a really, really, really good squad. So I think we're going to sell him as well. Or if not, maybe he goes on the bench. For the deep, for the defense, we did have Hernandez going to have to go because I think their fullback was Brazilian as well. So he's going to have to go. Uh, Tamori Romagnoli. I think only Tamori. Actually, no. Tamori's going to have to go. Romagnoli uh, is going to be sold uh, because I think we had a Brazil center back and also an Italian center back. Uh, and then their right back, I believe, was Italian. So he's at a state, and their goalie at the time was also Brazilian. So Magnan did also be sold as well. All right, guys. So this, these are the transfers that we are going for in this window. I'm going to try to get as many as I can, but we are going off of the, we are basing it off of the team that they had in 2009. So they had their Brazilian keeper. They had Thiago Silva as well as center back. They had uh, Maldini as center back. So I think we are going to keep Romagnoli to be Maldini. Uh, Beckham at this time, so we are going to try to go after Phil Foden. If we can't get Phil Foden, maybe we go after like Saka or maybe uh, our Nate, uh, Phillips from Leeds. We might go after him. Uh, Paqueta, we are going to go after Paqueta. They didn't have Kaka and Dingo at this time, so Neymar and Paqueta are definitely pickups I want to get this season. Uh, Neymar is very expensive. Like We probably have to build like, maybe 200 just on him. Uh, Paqueta as well. He's not as expensive, so he's probably definitely getting into the club. But right now, we did get three bids right now. We have Telos, Gravenberch, and Tizgaikov as well. Tizgaikov, I think, is the only good Ukrainian like, attacker that I could find. Uh, but he's going to be representing uh, Stoichkov. I think at this time, they did have Stoichkov still at striker. Uh, Gravenberch because of Seedorf. And they did have their Brazilian left back as well. So that's why we're going after Telos. Uh, I think he's a pretty good cheap left back as well for the team. So let's see how it goes. All right, boys, so this is the big, big, big signing for the club, man. We're going to try to go after Neymar Jr., man. Hopefully, they don't ask for too, too much because Neymar, I know he is a big name, so that is probably why his money is going to be super, super high. Uh, current value, 129 mil. Uh, I think we'll probably offer um, around like 180 for him. And let's see if maybe we can get him for a little bit cheaper. Let's see. All right, 180. For Neymar, they're asking for 189. So a lot, I wasn't too off. I mean, that's not too bad. Uh, I'm gonna try to counter that and maybe try to get a little bit cheaper because you know we do want to maybe save some some money. Every every penny counts, man. Every penny counts. 184 mil for Neymar. Maybe they'll accept this. And there we go. We secure Neymar. Now we have to work onto his contract and all of his wages and stuff, and hopefully he does accept. All right, man. Tea time. Let's go. Let's see what Neymar's saying, man. Hopefully, he just you know he doesn't like be super like greedy or something, bro. We have to we have to sign him, bro. We have to sign him. 
So squad roll, obviously crucial. We got to take that. Damn, that shit looks good, bro. Oh my God, I just, just look blessed. Holy. All right, nice. He accepted it. Contract length, three years. Yes, we will accept that as well. Boom. Let's go. Release cause. No, I, I agree. Let's go. Going very, very well. That's what I like to see, man. Come on. Now, wages. Now it's up to me. 300 wage with a signing bonus of 10 mil. I believe that should work. If he says no to this, bro, you are literally dumb. You are a star player, Neymar. We will give you all of the monies. Come on. See what they say. Reasonable offer. Bang. I, you know, man, I, I know these players, bro. I know them. So, bang, we bring Neymar in. Our new number 10. Ooh, actually, we might make him wear number 80. That would be pretty sick. If we make him wear number 80 like Dingo, that would be insane. But let's go, man. We do secure Neymar. We do have talks with Paqueta as well, who will be representing Kaka at... Uh, at uh, Milan, so hopefully this is this goes well. Alright, man. So we just made two extra signings, man. We did end up getting Paqueta and Ederson. We are accepting their weekly wages, ninety five thousand a week for Paqueta. We will accept that, and also we did pick up Ederson, two hundred thirty thousand a week. I mean, it is a little pricey, but you know what? We'll take it. We have made six major, major signings, and I think the only sign that we have to do is to get uh Foden and hopefully we can't get Foden and if not maybe we go after Saka maybe but hopefully everything goes well the transfer yo man our finances are very very mudded man we've had like a negative 74 mil in profit our transfer budget is 202.8 mil wage budget is 1.1 mil uh but hopefully we can't get Foden hopefully it doesn't like break the bank but we do need this for our rebuild uh, Ford is very important for us to, we can for, to represent Beckham in the team and also Millie Tao. All right, man. So it is deadline day. We did make bids on Foden and also Eder Millie Tao. This is definitely going to break the bank with us. Hopefully, ah, uh, man, Millie Tao has agreed for 106 mil. We shall accept that. Foden is still going on, but hopefully that is a deal that is set and done. Uh, Eder Millie Tao will delegate this. Uh, we'll offer like 140. Nothing more than like 180 will do that. Ah, uh, man, Foden. Hopefully he agrees. Let's see. All right. So Edin Tao has accepted the offer. Five-year contract, 140,000 uh, a week uh, for his wages, man. We shall accept that. Boom. So Militao is in the team, who's a big, big asset for us in the center back role. Uh, now it is all up to Foden if he is going to agree for us. All right. So Theo has agreed to go to PSG, so we will accept this for 83 million, 83.6 million to be exact. So we will take that, bring some more money into the club. We'll take that. And now we have money that will help us for Foden. And Foden does agree for 135.7 million. So we will take that as well. And I think we will negotiate because I don't think we have enough time to just transfer, uh, just to spam the X button on transfer and then just like let the hours go by. I don't think we have enough time, so we'll just do it in person. Come on, man. Foden, you know you want to come to AC, man. You want to become a Rinoceri. Come on. Damn, man. Foden. Represented. Beckham. We will accept the crucial role. Nice. Five years. Accept. I will take that. 235.6 mil. Damn. You know what? I think we'll accept that, bro. I don't think there's no one in the, in the world that can afford that besides Real Madrid or even PSG. All right. Now we got a salary. Uh, I think we'll give him like 170. Oh shoot, man. We got nothing in the club, bro. Oh no. We don't have any money. We don't have any money. Oh no, bro. We have no money. He won't accept the one point. He won't accept that. They won't accept it, bro. I, I, I gotta press it, but. Oh, the accepted. Bro, we are blessed. 123 point whatever the hell else we had in the club. And it worked. Ladies and gentlemen, 2009 rebuild of AC Milan has been completed. Every player has been accepted into the club, man. Foden, Militao, Ederson, Bakweta as well. Neymar, Tizgakov, Telez, and also Gravenberch. All amazing, amazing signings. Hopefully, let's see. By the January transfer window, which is when you'll see me next... Uh, is how well the team will do uh, during midseason.
All right, boys, so this is the team that we have completed uh, for AC Milan 2009 rebuild. We have this guy called Striper with Ibra. Ibra is going to probably retire soon. So I think our next purchase is probably going to be Isaac, uh, the Swedish striker who is at Real Sociedad, I believe. So he's going to be probably our next signing, probably in January if we can afford him or probably in the summer transfer. Neymar, we have a Cam, Paqueta, CM, Gravenberch, CDM, and then Tonali as well. We have Foden as well, so I think we may probably play Foden at CM here. We might play him here and then also uh, have Tonali as like a as a sub. And then we couldn't get rid of these the rest of these players here, man. So, I mean, Magnan is definitely not going to get any, any play time. Pakiyoko as well. Like, these guys are not going to be touched. We're, we are going to be simming it, so I don't believe they will be playing. Like, Maldini will keep, who is Maldini's son in real life. He's going to stay, like, Messiah's. I think we might keep him. He is Brazilian, Brazilian and a cam. So, I mean, he's a good um, sub as well for either Neymar or Paqueta. Uh, Tamori, we couldn't sell. Calabria, we are going to keep. But hopefully, uh, January, we sell Tamori and stuff like that. We could probably bring in some, like, lower rated, like, under 80 rated players just to be some subs for our, uh, for our team. Raheem Giroud also didn't sell. Uh, I think we are going to keep just the sub keepers just in case, you know, Ederson gets injured or something. Hopefully, it doesn't happen. And then Gabia, he's Italian, also a center back, which is what we need. So he's probably going to stay on the reserves unless we do need him. But yeah, boys, this is the team how it's lining up. It looks super crazy on paper. Uh, and let's see how they do uh, for the first season. All right, man, it is now January 1st. Let's see how the team do, uh, how the team did, man. I'm kind of scared. Uh, uh, let's see, man. Please. Okay. One draw in, in December. That's not too bad. And we Ampoli though? Come on, bro. That's that's an L. We did win against uh Atletico for the UCL. That's good. Oh no, man. Why was November so bad for us? Lost to Udinese, Venezia, and freaking uh Porto as well. We tie with, with Liverpool. I mean, that's not too bad. 3-3. Three, three. Liverpool are a good side, so I mean that's okay for us. We did win against Juventus. That hurts me, man. I'm a, Ju I'm a Juventino, man, so that hurts. It, it hurts me to wear this jersey, too. Oh, man, October, we did get... Oh, we lost to Liverpool as well. Liverpool. Santorania? Why are we losing to them, bro? They're like the worst side. Roma, we won and K. Atalanta, we beat. Sandoria, okay. And then... Oh, man, we only won, like, one game in the UCL. That is not good. We lost to Napoli. One against Porto. Uh, so we got two wins, I think. Two wins in the UCL. Tied against Inter. That's, that's kind of that's reasonable. They are a good side. Torino 4-2. Genoa 3-2. We won. Okay. I mean, that's not too bad. Let's see. I want to see what happened and what <laughs> what went wrong, bro. All right, man. So here's, here are the stats. I want to see what's going on here, man. It's okay. So Zlatan, 23 appearances, 9 goals, 4 clean sheets. Okay, that's not too bad. Syria was seven appearance, 17 appearances and 5 goals. Okay, that's kind of poo. Uh, Giroud, I mean, he's still playing. I mean, like, I really don't want him in the team, but he is scoring a couple goals. Foden's doing pretty well. Even playing at right CM. 21 games, 10 goals, 8 assists, 5 clean sheets. Not too bad. Neymar as well. Neymar and also Foden are both putting up pretty much equal numbers. So, I mean, they're doing their work, man. 17 games, 9 goals, 3 assists, 6 clean sheets in the Serie A, uh, 1 goal, 2 assists in uh, Champions League. I mean, not too bad. Uh, Tzgakov is doing horrible. Oh my god, he's not doing anything for us, man. 7 games, 1 goal. 7 games, 1 goal. What is going on? I think we do have to change. I want to change his position. I think we did have him at center forward. We still have four more weeks on that. So once that changes, we're going to put him up and then make him into a striker as well. So maybe that's why he's not doing too well. He's a right mid playing as striker. Uh, I am trying to switch him, but I mean, he's doing okay. He got a plus one as well. Paquette is doing okay. I mean, he's just kind of defending. So he did get a plus one as well. Uh, 20 games, four goals, one assist, four clean sheets. Not too bad. Two goals in the Champions League as well in six games, which is not too bad. Uh, Graven Birch, I mean, he's just defending. So, I mean, he, him with having three clean sheets, it's okay. Uh, two goals, one assist. I mean, that's not too bad. Okay, so Romagnoli and Eder Militao, man, they're, they are doing pretty well. They're playing most of the games. Uh, I mean, Tamori's coming off the bench as well. We can't get rid of him, so, I mean, he's going to have to play for now. But five clean sheets for Eder Militao and four clean, four clean sheets for Romagnoli. I mean, that's not too bad. Even assists for Eder Militao, that's not too bad uh, in my eyes, man. So, these, are, these signings are doing pretty well. I mean, even Tellez, man, 23 games, six clean sheets, two goals, two assists. Like, he's doing very... All the signings are doing well. 
five clean sheets with Ederson. Uh, with Ederson. Uh, my bad. He even got an assist. Where the hell did he get the assist from? Man, you know what? I'm happy with that, man. Uh, I didn't really see what position we are in uh, for the league. I got to see. Let me see. Let me see. I want to see how the team is doing. If we're in top four, I'm okay. We are third. Okay, we are third. Nine points behind Napoli. I mean, that's not too bad. I mean, we are losing stupid games. I mean, that's not the, the best, but... I mean, we'll take it. We'll take it. All right, man. So after looking at the January, oh, for, well, from September to January, uh, the first half of the season, not too bad. We are third. Uh, hopefully, we can we can gain uh, more points to become first. And in our first season, man, we're trying to win everything, man. Champions League. We're trying to get the treble. Easy, like we want to get as many wins as we can with this team. We're not gonna stop until we win all three. So I will see you guys at the end of this window. Well, at the, at the end of the of the season, we'll see what happens. All right, we're at the end of the season, man. May 22nd, 2022. And we got our last game against Spezia. And it's already looking like a W for this for this uh, month, man. We beat uh, we beat Juventus for the for the cup, for the for the Super Copa, man. 5-4 in pens. A pretty close game, I could see. Fiorentina, Sampdoria, Cagliari. We beat, uh, oh, Cagliari we tied again. I mean, it's not too bad, but we did win 3-0 against Fiorentina. It's pretty good. I mean, April is filled with Ws, man. Sassuolo, Empoli, uh, Bologna, Genoa, and Torino all won. All wins. All wins. We won against... We won against United. Won nothing. Okay, so that, does that mean that we're in the UCL still? Uh, we did get a bunch of ties, though. Uh, winning against... Na I mean, we did win against uh, Napoli, so I got, got us to the cup. UCL. We, okay, so we lost... Uh, so we lost to uh, United 4-2. And then, uh, so it wasn't enough, man. It was it was 4-3 United in the UCL, man. So we did not make it to the UCL. Um, the rest of the months were looking pretty good. January was filled with draws. I don't know why. Oh my gosh. All right, so I mean, first season is looking okay in my eyes, but we got our last game here against Spezia. We're gonna, we're gonna do a quick sim this. I wanna see what happens. I mean, we got Ebro with a, oh man. Neymar's still at 90. One Foden's at an 86 now. Uh, Graven Birch is still at an 80. Paqueta 84. Okay, so there's Militao's at an 85 as well, and Ederson's at a 91. So I'm pretty Ederson's like probably at his best right now. Because Yakov is still like not doing too well for us, man. I mean, him playing uh, as striker is probably why, but I mean, let's just see what we what happens here in this game. All right, so we do win 4 2. Neymar with two goals, Paqueta and Ibra also scoring as well. That's what I like to see, man. I want to see. We go into the post-match interview. I wonder if we did win the league. This game could have been the difference. But I know Napoli was nine points ahead. Unless they just like completely like blew their lead. Let's see, man. Let's see. Alright, let's see, man. Great feeling team didn't let you down and got the result you needed to tie up. A Champions League spot. Okay, so we are top four, which is good. We are where we want to be. I agree with that. So we did not win. I don't think we won the, the league. Okay, so we went on beating for 15 games, which is, a, which is pretty good. I mean, it's good, but it's not a trophy, man. We want to get trophies. We, we, we don't care. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care. 15 wins. I think that's good. But we know trophies matters. All right, so headliners after today for Neymar. I know Neymar is a freak of nature. I could have asked for more, man. Neymar is a freak of nature, man. Yeah, you're welcome, man. Let's go. All right, now I just want to see what the results were. Okay, so now we're 58 rated. Okay, so that is not good. That is not good. We do not win the title. That's an L. We have to win next season, man. Next season. Hopefully, we do not get kicked out for, for Milan, man. All right, so we got 85.7 mil for next season, which is very, very good. We will take that tournament money for Coppa Italia. We won, so we got 3 mil. All right, so if you're in... Uh, oh, let's see. Florenzi about to leave. Okay, that's not too bad for us. Giroud, oh, Tamori offers withdrawn. Oh, no, man. This is what happens when you skip. This will happen. We'll probably get rid of them by next season, I believe. So they want us to finish the season with a profit margin of 325 million. I guess they're on crack. Who the hell are we selling for that money? All right, so we got to the Coppa Italia. We won. So we won. That's the only trophy we got, man. We got the Coppa Italia. We were currently... Okay, so we got fourth. We got fourth in the Serie A race. I mean, it's not too bad. 
Uh, but hopefully next season we can't get first. We want to win. We got knocked out in the round of 16 with Champions League, man. That's not too good. We lost to freaking United, man, which is literally unbelievable. United suck at the moment. I, uh, we will take that. I mean, it's, it's an okay start. That's an okay start. I want to see what the team was doing. All right. I want to see how the team was playing. So let's go to stats real quick. All right. So Ibra, 51 appearances, 18 goals, 2 assists, 5 clean sheets. For someone who is 40 years old, that's not too bad. 40-year-old Ibra, he'd probably, if anything, if he doesn't retire this season, he will probably stay, sit on the bench as we pick up Isaac, who is someone I believe will do amazing for us. Uh, Fiore, who is probably one of the... Yeah, we picked up this guy who was uh, from the academy. So he got one goal in 35 appearances. Oh, jeez, man. That's garbage. All right, he's poo. Giroud is going to have to be going as well. 35 years old, 75 overall. He's got to go. He's got to go. Foden ending with 13 goals, 11 assists. Six clean sheets in 48 games. Not too bad. I will take that. Neymar, 25 goals, 12 assists, 8 clean sheets at Cam. 51 games uh, played. He had one goal and three assists in the Champions League. And then he had three goals in the Copa and 21 goals, nine assists in the Serie A. Which, I mean, that's not too bad. It's not too bad in my in my eyes, man. So, uh, But this guy, Kov, man, he's... Oh, no, man. He had a plus two, but he's not doing too well. 20, uh, 21 games, two goals. Ah, uh, man. I, I think it's because he's not a striker. I think that's the reason, man. I want to see if maybe we can convert him yet to a center forward. Maybe that will help him. Yeah, so he can turn to a center forward. We will do that. Um, I wonder how long it will take him to turn into a striker. Because if not, the position he is in, then it's his striker. I will turn it to center forward, and hopefully he plays well. Uh, let's see. Striker, it will take 98 weeks. Okay, yeah, so we're not going to do that. I want to maybe pick up that... We'll probably do like a pressing forward. Actually, no, that's kind of defensive. Maybe like a bombarder. All right, bombarder is deep line. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do this. So he'll turn to... We have five weeks for this. So hopefully he does well. Uh, let's see. Paqueta, 10 goals, 5 assists. Okay, in 40 games. That's not too bad. I, I, I see him. I'll take that. Gavin Birch, 36 games, 8 assists, 5 goals, 5 clean sheets. Okay, okay. That's not too bad. I mean, Tonali coming in with 8 clean sheets. Wow, so he has to start, I think. He's at an 82 rated. Him with 8 clean sheets. I mean, him, Gavin Birch as well. I think they could probably play together. Uh, man, that would be a really good defensive duo right there, man. Even like Florenzi, he is on loan. Eight clean sheets as well, which is very, very good. Uh, six uh, six goals, five assists. Okay, in 46 games. Uh, let's see. Calabria, who is probably our... He's our, our substitute at the moment. So he's, he's a good as a sub. So we'll keep him as a substitute. Romagnoli, we need a center back, man. I was thinking of maybe buying Bastoni, but he's at Inter at the moment. Romagnoli, 37 games. Four clean sheets. That is it. And we have Edmund Militao. One assist, seven clean sheets. Very, very good. Tamori, we're probably going to sell him 45 games, 5 clean sheets. So he is doing well, but we have to sell him. He is English. He does not fit the team. He has to be either Brazilian or Italian in the center back role. Tellez, with 51 games played, 4 goals, 2 assists, 8 clean sheets. Very, very good. I like that. I like that. 7 clean sheets in, in Syria. And then we have Ederson with 7 clean sheets and 2... Uh, man, where is he getting these assists from? What the hell? Alright, we will take that, man. We will take that. It's a pretty good season. I'm not going to bash it. I want to see who our top top goal scorer was in this area it was neymar so neymar got the top goal scorer for for the syria man which is really really good jeru is up there as well so we have two players on the team okay we will take that jeru is up there all right we already saw that and then who was behind that ibra okay this is Gagkov, man he is not doing it for us but hopefully he can actually put up some numbers all right so you get some new transfer uh List ready to go. We got Haug. I think they say his name. The Norwegian uh, left mid that we have. We're gonna probably accept that 23. Ooh, no. You know what? We probably have to get a little bit more out of them. Let's negotiate this. I think we're probably gonna offer them like 28. Try to get a 28 out of them. No less than like 25. But let's see. So I'm gonna give them. Let's see. Let's say 29. Let's see what they say. 27. Uh, let's see if we can get them to 28. And if they accept that, we're, we're we're good. Hey, let's go, man. Arsenal want him. They can have him. There you go. Hopefully, they accept that. Next, we have Mangan, who's... Ooh, Inter are going after him. You know what? I do not want to sell him to a rival. So, I think we're going to reject this. Because that, that will screw us in, in, in the long run, man. Because Mangan is an 87-rated keeper right now. And him going to Inter is going to be really, really bad for us. They probably got rid of Handanovic. So, they're looking for someone new. 
Uh, Adley, I mean, he's pretty good. We could probably sell him as well. 21 million, we'll accept that. I'm not going to be as stingy for an extra 4 million, but we'll accept that as well. Spinazzola also has agreed, so we will take that. 42 uh, million, 42.5 million, we will take that as well. Boom. So he will go into the club. We'll delegate these. Uh, I'll probably offer him like 109, nothing more than like 140, and hopefully he accepts those. All right, so Haug did sell. We got 26 million back, so we will sell him. Uh, offer accepted by Spinazzola, which is really good. So we got him back into the club. He'll probably take the spot of where Florenzi was. We have Tellez on, on the left. Spinazzola will convert him to a right back, and that'll be really good for the team. I think that will help us in the long run as well. Tonali transfer offer from Leicester, and they want to give us Soyonsu. We're going to reject that. Sorry, Leicester, but we cannot take a Turkish center back. We will sell him. We got our Super Copa money. We did lose 2-1 to Juventus. I mean, let's go over my boys, but you know what? It's bad for this video. So we'll go to the team. Let's we'll see how it's lining up right now. I mean, we did bring uh, Tizyakov to a center forward, and I want to see if we can maybe. Uh, he can. He can only play striker. Hopefully, he can. He can turn into a striker later on. Uh, but we will get rid of Magnan. And we'll put in Isaac here. Spinazzola will come in as well for Caldara. So Spinazzola will play here. Because I know Kalulu is going to be a sub. But we're probably going to sell him. We'll take him off. And then we'll probably put in Gabia as well. Isaac will come in. First for Ibra. Ibra will be our sub. Giroud is still here. I don't know why. Giroud has to leave. So hopefully. Let's see. Let's look at instead of Giroud. At the moment. I want to sell these guys man. Like uh, Duarte can probably come in as well uh for maldini i'm not sure if maldini's actually you know what i'll probably take a caldado or something we have too many center backs so we'll keep in these guys uh for the bench we have only ibra so i think we have to buy maybe like a Saka or something or we, we will see we will see maybe like a phillips we might buy like a phillips or something for foden this Foden is still uh chilling here man he's he's playing at cm i mean he can't play cm so that, that is good he can play there paquette is doing well neymar is doing really well and yeah, boys, let's see what it looks like at the transfer window. All right, so we got a transfer offer from Leicester again. They went to a swap deal for Fofana. I mean, if this... Ah, oh, man, this is a horrible deal. This is horrible. Let me reject this. Get out of here. And Cal uh, Calabria, uh, they, they, who wants to be sent to Atletico? Atletico Madrid, they want Calabria. But you know what? We got to reject this. He is our super sub as well. So he is going to be on our bench. We can't get rid of any of them. So, yeah, definitely not. We have to keep both of those guys. All right, now we are back. Two days before the transfer window is about to close. We just came off of a win from Cagliari and Salatiana as well. 3-1 each, which is a very, very good start, uh, I should say myself. So, let's see what's going on here in the inbox. Uh, Ederson, all right, so he's developing well. All right, so we got players off onto international break. Mangan transfer offer to City. Okay, this is very, very good. City one are a big club, oil club. They were probably gonna pay the big bucks. So we're going to delegate this. We're gonna offer them a hundred and five. And a hundred, a hundred, a hundred mil flat. We will not take less than 93. And let's see what they say. And then Kalulu as well, who's probably gonna get sent to Athletic Athletic Club. 10 uh, 10 mil. I think we'll take that, man. Two mil off of, of his uh of his of his highest bid, but you know what? We'll just sell him there. We'll take that. It will clear all this. And hopefully by the transfer window time, which will be in literally like two days, we will see what we can do. All right. So it is transfer deadline day. I, I do probably want to pick up a couple guys. Like I think I might have to pick up like Asaka maybe for Foden because Foden's just chilling there. Spinazzola's in the team already. So Tellas is there. But you know what? I might want to pay up Bernard Lodi. Who's a little bit younger, and he's probably, he's probably gonna play a little bit uh, better than uh, than Tellas. So I think we want to pick him up. They are the same rating, but Ro uh, Lodi is uh, younger, so he'll probably he'll, his overall will grow a little bit better uh, as he ages. So we'll probably pick him up. We'll delegate this, and we will probably offer like 55, and probably no more, than like 63. I think that's, that should be a fair number. Renier as well want to pick up. He is very very cheap, but he's you know what he's only for like a sub uh, as well for uh, Neymar. So we will delegate this. We will offer them five. 
And it won't offer more than 7.5. There we go. We won't go any higher than that. Gabriel Jesus. I don't think we have the funds for this. He is 81 million. But him doing this well on the bench. I mean, that's kind of bad. Like he's 84 rated. That's too good to be on the bench. So I think maybe Renier is probably our best option at the moment. But Saka, I think, is someone we will take. His defending is at 69 right now. So him playing right CM will be perfect. So we will offer probably 60 for him. And no higher than, let's say, like 72. 72 flat. Let's see what they say. All right, so Mangan has a sale agreement with City for 94.4 million. We will take that and run with it, man. That is a lot of money coming into the club. That is very good. And Kalulu also selling, which is also really good. Saka purchase agreement. Let's go. So Dorman are ready to sell him for 60 million. Let's go. I knew that was a good offer, man. I knew that was a good offer. We will accept that. And we will also negotiate with Saka. Come on. Let's freaking go. All right, so we're going to have him as a rotation player. I think that's pretty good. Oh, 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 they want an important. You know what? We'll take that. He could be important. Okay, five years. Accept that as well. Nice. Disregard release clause. Why don't they ever show me the wages, man? It helps if they show us the wages. We'll put 65... And then also 300,000 as a signing bonus. See what they say. Reasonable offer. We will take that. And we got Saka secured into the team. All right, so Mayan has sold, which is very good for us. Renier, also a purchase agreement has been completed as well. So we will accept that 6.4 million for Renier. Uh, we will delegate this. We don't want it to be uh, nothing too crazy. So let's do that. Make it a little bit faster for you guys who are watching, man. If you guys are still watching, man, don't forget to drop a thumbs up, subscribe as well if you guys have not already, man. And hopefully tell me what you guys are thinking about the career mode. If you guys have any ideas on who, which team we should do next. I was thinking maybe like we have like United, maybe Juventus as well for me. Uh, maybe we could do like a Chelsea. If you guys just give me ideas, man, let me know. So Renier has accepted. Let's go. But I'm pretty sure Lodi, they thought our offer was too low. So we might have to go after that again. I'm not too sure. So now they transfer offer to Roma. Definitely not because they are a rival club. We cannot do that, man. No, we are not going to sell. I don't know if you guys have noticed. We have not sold any of our players to one of our rivals. Not one. That, that will literally screw us over. We can take, we'll buy it from them, obviously, but we will not, we will not sell it to them, bro. We're not going to give them Mangyan. We're not going to give them Tonali. We're not going to give them anyone, man, because it will ruin us in the end. We'll sell them to different leagues, which is probably better for them and also better for us. Another offer for Foden, 142 million for Foden. We can't sell him, man. We got to keep him still. I, can't, I haven't found a better midfielder than Foden at the moment. Until, maybe we'll see. It, this is only until we win the treble, bro. So we'll, we're going to see. We have two hours left on this transfer deadline day. And then after that, we will come back on January and see how the team has performed. Alright, so the transfer is closed. And we got an offer for Neymar as well. And it was from Liverpool. And they want to swap him with Luis Diaz and give me 99. 99.5 million plus Luis Diaz, who is worth 55, 53 million. My math is correct. That is not even 150 million. Plus, plus, they're trying to give... Oh, man. We even got Neymar, who, who has even grown in his, his price. So we bought him at 120 million. Now he is minimum 207 million so man we have some crazy crazy deals going on here man we are rejecting that neymar is the best of the best in the world at the moment so he is definitely not being sold now we will come back uh at the midway through the season on january 1st and we will see how the team is performing at the moment we are first but that's only because we played two games and literally from first to fourth we're all six points so hopefully it continues 
All right, boys. So yes, January transfer window now in our second season. Let's see how the team is doing. I'm very, very curious. We are at 87 rating, so hopefully we're not doing too bad as a manager. We are fourth still, but the table is very, very close this time. Lazio are up 38 points. We are six points behind them, one point behind Inter for third, two points behind Juventus, and Napoli are right behind us for one point. This is a very, very close table. This is looking better than last season. We were last time we were nine points behind. It is looking very, very good for us. Uh, I want to get rid of all this stuff in the inbox. Tournament money, nice. All right, so the team is looking pretty good. This Gyakov is at 84 now. Isaac is already at 85, which is amazing. Three ratings up in literally six months. Crazy. Neymar's at 92 already. Paqueta, 85. Fortnite, 87. Gravin Bridge is not growing that good, but you know what? I mean, he's doing pretty well for us. Um, I'm not really getting uh, upset with him. Uh, Edder Mulitao's at 86. Romagnoli's still at 82. Tellas, 83. Spinazzola, 83 as well. Anderson at 92. So he's probably one of the best keepers that we are that are in the game at the moment. Let's see how the team uh, the team stats are. That's what I also want to check. All right, so Isaac has 23 appearances, eight goals, three assists, three clean sheets as well. Not too bad. Uh, Ibra, I mean, he's just a sub right now. So, I mean, he has got one goal, two assists in 13 games. Uh, I mean, that's, that's okay for us. Uh, Giroud we still have, but I mean, he's on, he's on the reserve. So, he's not doing anything too crazy. So, him having one goal, one game, I mean, that's fine. This Gankov, I mean, 19 of the games, six goals, five assists, three clean sheets. Not too bad. Four appearances in the Champions League as well with three assists. Very, very good. Uh, Renny, I mean, he's only got two games in, but he did get a plus one. So he is getting playing time, which is good for us. Uh, four to 20 games, four clean sheets, one goal. I mean, it's okay. He's only he's playing center mid, so it's all good. Saka coming in as a sub, which is really good. You can already see he's got a plus one already, 10 games. Uh, Paqueta, 24 games, two goals, two assists, six uh, clean sheets as well. Neymar. With 13 goals, 4 assists, 5 clean sheets in 24 games. 2 goals in the Champions League as well. 11 goals in Serie A. So I don't think he's the top goal scorer at the moment. I gotta check who that is. Gavin Bridge with only 2 clean sheets, 12 games as well. So I think he's getting subbed off for probably Tonali. And Tonali's probably playing uh, ahead of him as well. That's probably why his games are so low. 22 uh, games played, 5 goals and 6 assists. Wow, so not doing too, not doing too bad. Adam Militao with five clean sheets uh, in 24 games with one goal. I mean, that's pretty well. That's good as well. I think. All right, so Tellez and Spina. All right, so five clean sheets for Tellez. Uh, Ederson as well, five clean sheets. One goal for Spina Zola, two goals for Tellez. I mean, that's really good. So I think the team's playing pretty well. We're not doing too bad. Right now, our the top goal scorer is Ossiman with 13 goals. Neymar is third with 11. So, I mean, he's only two goals off. I think he could become back-to-back -back top goal scorers. Um, I want to see who else. Oh, okay. So we got three, two of our players in the uh, in the month of December for uh, player of the month. Not too bad. Uh, so we have Neymar at third, and where is the next AC Milan? All right. So Isaac for six goals. I mean, that's okay, but nah, man, that's not too good. That's not too good. Isaac has to step it up a bit, I think. I want to see how the team was playing as well. So for December, we only took one loss to Empoli again. How is this possible? We lose to the worst team in the league. Uh, all right, so we got 2-1 in the UCL. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, let's see, Sampdoria, 2-0. All right, 2-0 against uh, Sassuolo as well. And we didn't take a loss as well in November. So Porto, we tied 1-1. Tied with Inter as well, 2-2. Tied again with Napoli. So all these ties are going to... Uh, those are the add up in the in May, man. When at the end of the season, which is not too good. Dortmund winning two nothing is really good for us in the Champions League. Venezia as well for one. Obvious that should uh, happen because Venezia's not the best team. Uh, we do lose to Lazio. I mean, they are the best team at the moment. They are winning the the league. So we lost three two and not too bad. Uh, Genoa we win three one. Porto we beat three one. Torino we tie two two. We couldn't. We shouldn't be tying with Torino. Uh, Bologna, we are winning 3-1, which is good. And Spezia, only 1-0, I'm surprised. But we did catch the win, though, which is good. We lost our first game in September against Fiorentina 2-1. Dortmund, we tied 0-0 the first game. Uh, Udinese tied again 1-1. Another tie with Roma, a win against... A tie against Atalanta 2... Oh, no, sorry. We did win against Atalanta 2-1. And then another UCL win, which is very good. I mean, not as many losses, as, but there are a lot of ties. There are a lot of ties, which will screw us. But hopefully by... May or no, is it April, March? Hold on, what was it? 
March. Okay, so it is May. So here we go in May. May 21st with our last game against Spezia. Let's see, man. Let's see. All right. It is the end of the season. May 2023. Let's see, man. We ended off May with three wins. Let's go, man. 4-2 against Roma. 2-1 against Inter. 3-1 against Spezia. Very, very good. Uh, we got Atalanta 2-1. We beat them. Lazio, which is good because they were first. Genoa, we tied. I mean, we should have beat them, but okay. Tied again with Udinese. What is going on here, boys? Come on. Fiorentina, we won against. And Torino as well. Okay. Bro, don't... Bro, we lost against United again. Why do we keep getting... We keep getting freaking uh, matched up with United. We lost 2-0. Oh, no, man. We won every game except for Ampoli as well. 2-2, two, two, man. Come on. And we lost... Bro, okay. So, we went... 1 in 5 to, to United. I don't know what's going on at United, bro. They're probably feeding their freaking. I don't know what they're feeding their, their players, man. We went against Sampdoria and Cagliari. Lost to Napoli and also Sant uh, Santiana. We tied 1 1. Okay. And then in January, we beat Juve twice. Okay, that's really good. Verona, we beat as well. We lost the cup to uh, Genoa. And then Venezia, we, we beat as well with Sassuolo. So, I mean. Another season where we don't make it to the UCL. And I don't even think we won the cup as well. We lost the cup. So, I mean, that is... Oh, man, we're at 42 rating, bro. We're at 42 rating. We didn't even win the league. We didn't even win the league. I think it's time that we have to buy a new center back. I think it's time we buy a new center back as well. 95 million from Syria. This is depressing, boys. This is depressing. We have to start selling. I, I didn't think it was going to be this long. We're in our third season now. We're going to be going through our third season. And we're 42 rated as, as a manager. This is horrendous. No, no, no. I can't. I can't. I can't. I want to see what the club was looking like. Uh, all right. So the team is growing, which is good. I want to see what happens. So we ended up second. One point off to Lazio. I called it. I called it, boys. I knew it. I knew it, man. Those ties add up, man. Those ties add up. But we got Neymar winning the Golden Boot. 37 games, 20 goals, 5 assists. Let's go, man. Neymar's in a beautiful pickup for us. And he's doing amazing in the Serie A. Neymar, Isaac as well. For both back-to-back -to -back top goal scorers. Let's go, man. Isaac with 20 goals. Neymar with... Tw uh, sorry, 19 goals with Isaac. 20 goals with Neymar. I want to see if anyone else on the team was up there. It says Gakov had 15 goals. Okay, so now he's kind of pushing. Now he's kind of doing a little bit of work. He's doing more work for us. We got three of our players... In the top 20, which is very, very good. So now we have Isaac with 22 goals and 47 appearances with 6 assists, 5 clean sheets. Uh, Zlatan, 2 goals, 3 assists. I mean, he's only a sub, so it doesn't really matter. Tizgyakov has 13 assists. Oh, wow. Okay, so he's doing really good with assists. Uh, 16 goals in 43 games. Let's see, running year. I mean, he's, just, he's only played a couple games. Foden, 41 games. 6 clean sheets, 3 assists, 6 goals. Uh, Saka, in 20 games, he got 1 goal, 1 assist. I mean, as a sub, it's not too bad. Paqueta as well. 10 clean sheets. Wow. Neymar, 9 clean sheets. 22 goals, 5 assists for Neymar. 6 goals, 5 assists for Paqueta. Gravin Birch, 30 games, 4 clean sheets. 3 goals, 2 assists. Tonali with 6 clean sheets. 43 games played. 6 goals, 1 assist. Okay. Calabria as well coming on uh, off the bench. 7 clean sheets. Okay. Romagnoli, 33 games. I think it's time for him to be put as a... As a sub, and we're going to have to probably buy another Italian center back to play uh, with Adam Militao. Adam Militao with 48 games. So he's been playing every single game for us. Three goals, one assist, seven clean sheets. All right, so he's doing pretty well. Spinazzola with 26 games, one goal. Tellez with seven clean sheets, as well as Ederson as well with seven clean sheets. Four goals for Tellez. One assist for Ederson. Okay. So the team is not... Oh, man, the team is not playing too bad. We could have won the league. It was one point. It was very, very close. So hopefully... By next season, we do pick up probably, I think, a better center back. And I think that could be it, man. Or maybe we could probably go after another Dutch center mid. I, I'm going to I'm gonna look, but hopefully we could probably win. Hopefully, season three is, is our last season. And hopefully, we can win the tremble. All right, boys. This is into season three. At the beginning of the transfer window, man, we have gone after three new players. We got Fred from United. And I think, you know what? We might be going after a bunch of United players because they do have players that can fit the squad. They have Fred, who we are signing, who just went onto a, a free agent. So we are picking him up for 81000 a week. We are accepting that. We have Bastoni, who played for our rivals Inter. And you know what? We're going to accept this for 54500000 
Um, you know what? I think he's going to have to play above Romagnoli. Romagnoli is probably one of our downfalls in the team. So I think Bastoni is a one-up on him. So we will get a Bastoni into the club. And also, we have Renan Lodi, who is accepting our 120,000 pounds. Oh, it's not pounds, sorry. Euros a week for with Inter. We will accept that as well. He will probably play, will most likely play above Alex Tevlitz. Alex Tevlitz will probably be on the bench. So we have that backup. And as well, we have... Like I said, Bastoni, we have to delegate with this. Uh, I think 140,000 a week is good. Hopefully, he accepts. And yeah, boys, we are looking after Van de, uh, Van de Beek, who is at an 84 right now, who is not growing as much as I thought he would at United. But you know what? I think he would probably fit our team very, very well. United also picked up Pellegrini. I'm not too sure if we pick up Pellegrini as well. We could go after him, as, but I think that's too many midfielders in my opinion. But I think Van de Beek, a year younger, same same rating as Pellegrini. I think we will go after him first. So we're going to approach the buy. 54 million to 71 million is uh, the transfers that we do have to get for him. So maybe we offer like 60 or 65 million and hopefully they accept that. So here we go. I'm going to offer 60. See what they say first. Let's see what they say. 64.5 so uh, me saying 65 i was oh, i was close i was close so let's counter that let's go to 60 two let's see if they accept two million less they accept it let's go man van de beek coming into the club we have to also negotiate his wages so let's delegate this um we'll keep it at 180 hopefully he accepts uh and yes boys the team is coming together we are only one point away from winning the league last year hopefully this year is our year all right, 2024, January, man. January 2nd, we just... Oh, my God. I see that we have a loss to Venezia, man. Oh, no. All right, let's see. All right, a full win December. Lazio, Napoli. Uh, I forget that team's name, but we won it for UCL. That's pretty good. Start at the end, it'll be 1-3-1. That's good. November is looking... We got 1L, and it was against Juventus. Okay, it's a good side. Can't be mad at that. Fiorentina, Torino, and Barcelona, we won. Okay, nice. I like to see that. I like to see that. Uh, 1L again against uh, Galatasaray. 2-1 in, in the Champions League. Galatasaray, we, we tied and then lost to them. What the hell? Okay, so Bologna, we tied against. And tied against Atalanta as well. So we had three ties in, in October, which is horrible. That's not what I like to see, man. We need wins. Wins, wins, wins. But September, we tied against Barca. Uh, okay, so we got a win in the UCL as well. Spezia, we won. Okay, Calag uh, Cagliari. Genoa and Sassuolo, we got wins. Okay, so it's looking pretty good in the first window. I want to see what the what our stats are looking like for each player. I want to see. But first, we're going to check the notifications here. All right, so Neymar's getting mad because we're not playing him. But you know what? We played him. We took him off too early. Now he's getting upset. We have a risk at losing players. So we got to... Maybe we can lower this down now. We have a risk at losing six players as well. So I want to sign them all back. Uh, I just don't want to pay too much. You know what I mean? So we're going to lower this down a bit. Lose players because we offer them too little of money, but I also don't want our, what's it called, our, our bills to be too high, you know what I mean? So we also have to check Fred's. Okay, so you already negotiated, I don't know why it says six months, but okay. Next, we have Neymar, which we will lower this down a bit. I don't want to pay too much for him. 226,000, no, 226 million, 900. All right, we'll accept this. I don't know who's going to buy Neymar. Hopefully nobody. But Maldini as well. Lower this down a bit. We are lowering this down nicely. I do like that. Okay, okay. So we did lower the wages a bit, which is very good. We don't want to have too many players with high wages. All right, so we did make it to the next round of Champions League, which is good to see. Uh... All right, so Bastoni at an 85 already. That's pretty good. Spinazzola still 83. Lodi at an 85. Mil Eder Militao, 88 rating. But Ederson... Okay, so Ederson is now injured. Who do we have as a backup? I am not too sure. We might have to buy a backup. This is what I was afraid of. I'm not too sure how long he's out for. But we may have to play. Oh, do I not have a keeper? All right, we're going to have to buy a keeper, man. This is, a, this is a problem. This is a problem. Who is a good keeper that we could buy? Off the top of my head, I'm thinking like Golini. I know he was he's in Syria. And uh, AC Milan did have uh, an Italian keeper behind their Brazilian keeper. So I think we might have to go after Golini. I mean, there's just Donnarumma, but Donnarumma is too, too expensive to have on the bench. But let's see first our top goal scorers. Oh, no. 
So we're not even in top goal scorers right now. We have Isaac at 7. Tiz, uh, Tizgyakov as well at 7. And Neymar at 6. Oh, no, man. That's not good. We're not even in the top 5. Or top 8, sorry. That show here. That's not good. Joshua King, who's at Genoa right now with 11 goals. Wow. That's really, really good. I want to see what our stats are looking like as well. Ederson is out for four months. Broken tailbone. Oh, no. All right. So that's not good. Let's check the stats first. So 10 goals for Isaac. Four clean sheets. This guy caught with 12 goals. Okay, pretty good. So he's our top goal scorer in competitions. All competitions, I should say. Um, Aquata, five goals, six clean sheets. Neymar, seven goals, four uh, clean sheets and three assists in 22 games. Okay, okay. Graham Birch doing a little bit better. Seven goals, eight assists, three clean sheets in 23 games. Van de Beek as well coming on a lot. So nine games, three clean sheets, two goals, two assists. Not too bad. Tonali not playing as much, not getting that much game time. So he's only got like one goal, two assists, three uh, clean sheets in 24 games. Edin Militao and Bastoni doing pretty well. Five clean sheets for Bastoni, six for Edin Militao. Uh, Romagnoli not playing as many games as he's a sub now. We don't put him in as all the time. Uh, Spinazzola not playing too much, I see. So he is only two appearances. Lodi with 16, Tellas with 13. Okay, so I guess they're playing... Tellas over Spinazzola at the moment with three clean sheets each for our left backs, which is pretty good. Oh, uh, man. Ederson was doing very well. Like, come on, man. He had two assists, five clean sheets in 23 games. Now we're screwed for a keeper. We got to look for a keeper now. Either has to be Brazilian or has to be Italian. So we're going to check that now. And we're going to come back and see who we can sign in the January transfer window. All right, boys. So I did find a keeper. We are going to go after Golini. As I said, he is at Atalanta at the moment. So he was at Spurs. I guess he came back. He's 83 rated, 28 years old. I think this is a very good signing. I think us signing him as a backup for now for a few extra months. And then we have, uh, I mean, we do have Al Allison who is injured at the moment. Four months, man. That is really, really bad. So I guess we do have to sign him. We're going to approach to buy him now because we do have that game up against Inter in a couple days. So we have to get uh, Golini into the club as soon as possible. Hopefully they accept. There we go. Golini into the club. We will take that. There you go. Golini, now we got to negotiate his uh, wages. All right, so hopefully he does accept these, man. We are desperate for a keeper who is good, and they are high rated as well. 83 is not too bad. Reasonable offer. They take it. Let's go. Golini into the club. Love to see it, man. I think we'll just stick with Golini at the moment. Uh, let's just check here. Ederson's got to come out now, uh, which sucks. So we got to take out Ederson, put in the Golini, who will be our sub at the moment. Uh, and yeah, bro, having a 92 rated goalkeeper in the reserves because they are injured is horrible. But you know what? We will have to deal with it and we'll come back in at the end of the season, I should say. And hopefully we do come back and we can pull off a Serie A win. Uh, even US UCL. If we do have to start playing some UCL games, I will do that as well. And also maybe the Supercoppa and the uh, Scudetto. Like, man, everything. We have to get everything done this season, hopefully. All right, boys, we're back. Uh, May 23rd, man, 2024. And I believe that we have made it to the UCL final. We have knocked out Real Madrid, I see. Uh, we got a win, a, a draw, and a loss after those games against Roma, Fiorentina, and Torino. We are playing Bayern last game. So that's going to be really, really difficult. We tied with Real Madrid, won one first game, and then beat them 4-2. Holy. Uh, just to recap over these months, man, April uh, was all over the place, man. We had a, a few wins, a two losses. We lost to PSG, man. Oh, no. So we lost to PSG and then won 2 0. I'm assuming we beat them in penalties. I mean, it doesn't say, but I'm assuming because we went forward. Uh, beat Spezia 4 0. Lost to Inter. Beat Juventus 3 0. Okay, so that's looking really good. Uh, we won every game in March. Okay, even, even Man City. So we beat Man City. Uh, we also won 4 0 against Empoli. Okay, so that's good. Uh, February, we went winless. Oh no, we went lossless. Sorry, so we didn't lose. Uh, we drew against City. So we drew against City and then beat them. Nice. Okay, so that's what I like to see. Uh, February was good. So then January was looking a little shaky here, man. We got two losses, three losses actually. Venezia, Sampdoria, and Udinese. So we've lost against the three worst teams in the league. And drew against uh, Sartana and Inter and won against Venezia the next week after that one. What the hell? All right. I want to see where we're at. What's going on? So we have Bayern that we just played. Uh, I want to see what's going on here. We did win the league. I do see we won the league, man. So we have to win the Champions League, man. And this 
rebuild is complete. I believe, I don't know if we have, if we have uh, Ederson. Ederson is back. Okay, so his four months uh, on injury, was he's done. So he's back. Uh, Isaac's at an 89 now. Wow. Tizgagkov is 85. Still Neymar's 93. Paqueta, 87. Tonali and Gravenberch grew nicely. Tonali's at an 88. Okay. Lodi, 85. Spinazzoli didn't grow at all, but that's okay. Bastoni, 86. Uh, Ederson did lose a couple rating. I mean, he was injured, so that's... that's uh, that's probably gonna happen, so that's okay. Uh, Militao 89, so he's probably he's like one of the best uh, center backs. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, we do have some notifications here in the office we gotta check out, but overall, man, th took three seasons for us to win the league. Um, not too bad. We were close the second season, we we're only off by one point in the first season, we were fourth. So, I mean, we took some very, very good steps into signing some players. Um, I want to see what the stats were for each player, I want to see who did well. I hope Isaac actually did well, man, because he's someone I was looking at. Before we started this scrimmer, I wanted him to do well. Um, I believe Van de Beek was injured. Yeah, he was injured a lot. I saw that. So I'm not sure if he's back now. I think he is. Uh, I want to see what the squad's looking like, what, what the stats are. Like I said, uh, stats are Isaac, 50 games, 23 goals, 7 assists. Okay, so he has 8 goals, 5 assists in, in the Champions League. Wow, man. So he's been a go for us, man. Crazy good. 15 goals and uh, 2 assists and 37 Serie A games. Uh, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, Tizgagkov, 30 goals! And hey, yo, my man's definitely the top goal scorer. I, I, I'm assuming he has to be top goal scorer. 51 games, 30 goals, 8 assists, 10 clean sheets. Wow, my man, my man is a GOAT, man. He got 21 goals and 6 assists in the Serie A. And he got 9 goals, 2 assists, and 12 appearances in the Champions League. Wow, really, really good. Uh, Foden, I mean, he did okay, kind of average, 2 goals, 7 assists, 5 clean sheets in 34 games. Uh, Paqueta, 12 goals, 4 assists, 13 uh, clean sheets, very, very good. Neymar as well, 14 assists, top assister for the club, 19 goals as well, which helps him playing at Cam. That's, that's some good stats. Gravin Birch as well, 10 goals, 9 assists, 9 clean sheets, wow. So he definitely stepped it up a bit after these couple seasons. So he did very well in 47 games. Um... Two, okay, so Van de Beek, he was injured, so it's okay for his two goals, two assists, and three clean sheets. He was injured for a few months, so I understand that. Tonali, one goal, two assists, six clean sheets in 48 games. Okay, that's not too good, but hopefully this is the last season, or else he would end up being sold, I think. Uh, let's see. 12 each. 12 clean sheets each for Militao and Bastoni. Good center back duo, I believe. This is pretty good. Uh, they did really well. 12 clean sheets, man. I like that, man. All of them in Serie A. Three in Champions League, though. Not too bad. Um, let's see. Romagnoli just becoming a sub. 11 games. He didn't really do anything. Spinazzola, 8 games. 3 assists. I mean, 3 clean sheets, sorry. Lodi and Tellez. Okay, so Lodi definitely playing all the games at left back. Tellez coming in a bit. Uh, 3 clean sheets. Lodi had 9. Ederson with 5 clean sheets. And then Golini... Who I was surprised, man. Yeah, he, he had to play a little bit more. He had to play like half the uh, other games for Ederson. Um, only because Ederson got injured for four months. So, I mean, he did pretty well, man. Eight clean sheets uh, for an 83 rated keeper. I mean, he got us to Champions League. So, I mean, Ederson getting into the final eight is very, very important for us. Because having an 83 keeper instead of an, a 91, he did lose a rating. But that's okay because he was injured, like I said. Uh, it's important. So, uh, you know what? I'm happy with that. Now, we have to get in. To the final man which is very very crazy so here we go man uh, i think we're gonna play this game man. it's the only gameplay of the of the video man so drop a thumbs up if you guys have not already man here we go bayern munich i have not seen their squad so we're gonna see it now oh man the final man this is what we need we have to win everything this is the year man this is the year let's go all right so they have alvarez i'm pretty sure he signed with city but they also got Pedri. So Lewandowski is not there anymore. They got Arthur. Okay. Davies at... Wait, what the hell? They got Davies at center back. Sabitzer at left back. Nunez. I'm not sure which Nunez that is. And then Sule. So they're being rats. Putting full back to center back. Okay. Nice. Still have Neuer. Sane Nabri. All right, man. We got to play. Uh, here we go, man. Let's go. I'm getting scared, man. We, this has to be... This is our year, man. This is our year. Isaac is going to be our Swedish GOAT. Neymar putting in that work as well. So here we go, man. Come on. All right, boys. Here we go, man. We got the players warming up. Oh, man. Here we go. Oh, Sané looking ready, man. He's ready with, with the Afro. He's ready to go, man. Let's go. Let's go. 
Alright, boys, here it is. I want to see the lineup for the Senshiro. Let's go, man. We are home. We cannot lose at home. Champions League final, man. We cannot lose at home. Come on, boys. Let's go. Come on. Oh, boys. This is a crazy, crazy final. Bayern, man. Oof. Let's go. Let's go. So they had to get through. Liverpool, Barca. Oh, man. Leipzig. They had Monaco, man. Oh, crazy, crazy, bro. Holy. I mean, we had a hard side too, but dang. I didn't know they had they had Liverpool and, and Barca. And oh, my God. Damn, bro. Look at this squad. Jeez. Bro, this is like prime. Prime AC, bro. Oh, my God. What a squad. Oh, my days, man. Let's go. I'm hyped, man. Let's go. Bastoni, our captain. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Spina. Cross that in. Tonali. Tonali! Tonali! Oh my god, what am I seeing? No way! He's a... He, oh my god, he's a fraud. He's a fraud, he's a fraud. Through ball. Grab him, Birch! Grab him, Birch! Bravo! 1-0! Let's go, man! Grab him, Birch! Let's go! I thought that was about to sky! Oh my god! I thought it was about to go over the post! Oh my god, what a goal. I thought it was offside too, man. <laughs> let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. No stupid mistakes. No, man! Uh, you cannot get past them, bro. Their passing, bro, was too good. Oh my god, come on, boys. Come on. Cross that. Ukraine Goat! For Ukraine, it's Gakov! Come on! Vamos! It's Gakov, let's go, man. What a cross by Spina. Come on. Let's go. Oh my goodness. What a pass from Neymar. Spina Zola crosses it. Touch off the chest, off the volley. Let's go. It's Gakov, the goat. Let's go, man. Yes, Lodi. Pass that in. Tizgakov. Low driven. Tizgakov. Let's go. Let's go. What a goal. Come on. Come on. Come on. 3 1. Let's go. Boom. 3 1, man. We cannot lose this lead. Come on. All right, Foden. Come on. Neymar. Ney. Yes. Boom. And it's over, boys. 4 1. Boom. Let's go. Neymar, man. Let's go with the boys. Come on. That's what I love to see, man. Let's go. I, I believe this is this is secured. Graven Birch to Zgakov with two and Neymar. 4-1. We did concede one. You know what? It's all good, though. We will take that, man. I'm just going to play this game out. Let's go. Everything has been completed with AC Milan, boys. Let's freaking go. And that's it, boys. We have won all trophies with AC Milan, man. Hopefully, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video, man. Drop a thumbs up as well. If you guys have not already, subscribe as well, man. We have beat Bayern, man. They have no Lewandowski this, this year, man. But you know what? We will take it. Let's go, man. Crazy signings. Neymar, Foden, uh, Paqueta. We had Eder Militao, Renan Lodi, Tellez, Spinazzola, uh, we cannot forget Isaac and also Tzgakov, man. Amazing, amazing signings, man. Saka as well. Let's go. The boys have done it, man. Let's go. Everything completed for this 2009 AC Milan rebuild. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, man. I'll catch you guys in the next rebuild. Peace, boys.